Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to today's play and chat. How's it going? We've got John, Ray, hey guys. Myself. John, they don't survive. So, <laughs> I'm about to die many times, many times. Uh, sorry about yesterday's uh, live stream. We uh, we had uh, a computer issue. We think we identified what the problem was. Um, if the computer doesn't crash during today's stream, we'll know we found the right. Th we we think it was literally a USB cable that was the problem and was causing and you know crashed one of our stream decks, and we think that would made the computer crash repeatedly. So we think we fixed it. We think. Mm -hmm. So now, last night I played about another half hour after the live stream ended. Oh, and it continued on this game. And I got, I actually got up on that this plateau. I got, remember I said I could never get to no, the yeah. blue one. I got to the blue one. I finished the blue one. Now I just arrived at the orange one down there at the bottom. So I'm about oh, to. Oh, so you're playing this game on your own time, huh? I, I played about 20 minutes. That means you like the game. I do like the game. I'm oh, bad. wow. <laughs> I'm, and it's a controller game. Wow. And it's a controller you're game. freaking. But this is why I'm terrible at it. I mean, yeah. So, all well, right. Well, that's a good thing, though, that uh, you're not shying away from the game because the games I've watched you play before, I don't know if you've even gone five minutes. Nope, that's like, like, I'm nope, over it. Nope. I'm done. I'm over it. <laughs> this and It Takes Two will have changed your world then. Okay. Yeah, It Takes Two is pretty good. Actually, I really like that game. All right, so... So what's our objective now? Here? I'm going to find out. It's like I had to get to the shrines. Did you fight a boss? I... No, I had to solve a puzzle. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, at the previous shrine, now I'm at this shrine, and then once I complete this shrine, then I can go back to the home, old homeless man and get the hang glider from him. Then once I get the hang glider from him, I can get off the plateau. I'm pretty sure he I appreciates think. you calling him homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does have a home. Okay, what's going on here? Just for the shrine, I am All right, our first again. super chat comes to us from Motasim. You've mentioned before that when Feige and Perlmutter didn't get along, Iger stepped in and got rid of Perlmutter. But now I'm reading that Feige's still technically working for him. Can you please clarify? No, 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 no. Uh, Iger did not get... Okay, when it was all going down, Iger didn't get rid of Perlmutter. What they did was at... Oh, boy, I don't understand what's going on here at all. Okay, so... Um, Kevin Feige was a direct report to Ike Perlmutter. Mm -hmm. So Ike Perlmutter was his boss. They did not get along. And so... What is apparently is now is coming out is that Perlmutter was going to fire. I mean, these are reports that are mm -hmm. coming out now that Perlmutter was actually going to fire Kevin Feige. Wow. So apparently Alan Horn... Again. Are you getting any internet over there? All right. It looks like we are back. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that was... Probably just a little glitch. I think that's, I think that's Chrome. Not okay, good. <laughs> I guess oh. like those those <laughs> sons of my matches over at Spectrum yeah. told us we haven't got in the uh, morning ones. No, so, no, it's, so. it's all been good. Yeah, so mm -hmm. okay, stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. Oh, stop the object of storing kinetic energy when the flow of time resumes. Okay, I'm gonna be really bad at this, but I'll try it. So um, the we were talking about. The Perlmutter thing. Perlmutter thing, yeah. So, no, he does not still work for Perlmutter, and he hasn't for a long, long time. Hmm. All right, our next super chat comes from King Daddy Goat. King Daddy Goat? <laughs> John, you going to the game? LeBron isn't playing. No. Yeah. No, See. yeah, and and got a hold of me. and uh, said, oh, oh, so he's not playing. He's not playing, apparently. Oh, I wonder if Ryan's still going to go, because I tried to tell him that last night, but he was well, I like... I think he bought his tickets already. Oh, you're, you were just going to go there and get him? Was that the plan? How would you have gotten tickets if you didn't? No, no, no. We were going to buy our tickets in advance. Oh. We, uh, but Ryan, I think, already... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Him and Matt already I told bought him, their tickets. I told him he should have sold those tickets. I was like, those are going to... Because people are going to bank that maybe LeBron doesn't get the... <laughs> he could have got a, a lot of money for them. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm pointing at the wrong thing. That's why. Hold on a second. But you know what? Oh. So, no, I'm not going to go to the game if LeBron's not playing. Yeah. All right, next he'll be up. there though, right? He'll probably be on the bench just sitting. Oh there. yeah, he'll definitely be there and be on the bench or whatever. Well, you can heckle him then. <laughs> I can heckle him. <laughs> Boo! Hey, he scored too many points. <laughs> Boo! What are you compensating for, LeBron, scoring so many points? <laughs> what are you only fourth in assists? Jeez, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> he sure like that. Oh. What, your son's gonna score as many points as you did? Yeah, his right. sons are getting big. His, his son, I can't. The 
LeBron's going to do anything in his power, everything in his power to play on the same team. Oh, yeah. As a seven, that, yeah that's the only sure. reason why I think he's staying in the league right now. It's not even to get it. Maybe it'll be cool if he got another championship, but. Yeah, he wants to play, he wants to play with one, one year and then he yeah. said he'll retire. That would be a first, I think. In NBA. Well, the father and son yep. playing together? On the same team. I know. I think it's happened in baseball. Yeah. Right. Baseball. Yeah, yeah. And it's happened in hockey. I think Gordie Howe played one or two seasons with his son on the Hartford Whalers. But yeah, I don't know if it's ever played happened in basketball. Shows you the advancement or just LeBron's insane physical. Oh, yeah. His longevity, the way he. Yeah. Is this like Thor's hammer here? Oh, get it. Ooh. Bro, if that thing doesn't break these, if that thing, if he smashes it on the ground, if it oh, cracks it. Hold on a second. Oh. Um, hey, baby, I'm I'm live and on air right now. What's up? Well, no, we started at 2.30 instead. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, nothing you can talk about in front of the millions of people <laughs> around the world? Well, yeah, no, actually, they were just asking. Uh, we literally just had a live question asking us <laughs> if we were going to go to the Lakers game tonight now that LeBron's not playing. But, yeah, I don't I don't see any point in us actually going if LeBron's not playing. Oh, they, they're saying he's in the starting lineup? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me double check once I'm done the once I'm done my live stream here. Right now, people are completely fascinated by watching me talk to you through my watch. Um, okay, let me let me once I'm done my stream, I'll double check and I'll get back to you. No, Thanks, baby. keep talking, keep talking. This is great. <laughs> keep talking inside baseball stuff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So now this is confusing. See what like, you're doing, LeBron. Make up your mind, Wait, buddy, and announce cake. it through an ESPN oh, you can't special. Carry anymore. Okay, I got to drop some. I think uh, LeBron needs to uh, put on an emergency, <laughs> emergency. Uh, uh, what's it called? Interview or press, press, press release? Press release. And say if he's starting tonight. Well, keeping on the theme of LeBron, we have a Thanks, super Taylor. chat from C Swerve. LeBron, in all caps, all time leading scorer. KD goes to the Suns. Uh, Westbrook gets traded. What a week. Then Super Bowl on Sunday. Yeah. I, I mean, look, the, the Lakers had to trade Russell Westbrook. But I they laughed at the, the team that he got traded to. Because it's the team that where he said he'll never play for because he, those, the, uh, where Crap. did he get traded to again? Utah. That's right. But it, no, that, wait a second. Was it Utah? I, I believe. Oh, yes, he did. Yes. He ended but up but it was just a, a placeholder. Right. Because he's not going to play there. He had the problems with a fan there. Remember that? Where I he don't was, remember. Yeah, where he was leaving and he almost fought a fan because they were screaming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not a, yeah, so. But is that the team's fault? No, no, but still, like that environment, he probably has a bad taste in his mouth already. Yeah, that's true. Well, he's there now. Yeah. All right, next okay. up we have... But the rant. Brennan Mystical Mar. Hey, John, you've expressed your love for the 1980 miniseries Shogun. Have you read the book? I have. It's great. Yeah, yeah. The the James Clavell uh, novel of Shogun, I read when... It was the first other than The Hobbit. I know this sounds weird for a kid to read, but because I was so taken uh, with the... Um, which one is the stronger shield? Okay, I guess that's the weaker one. Uh, because I was so taken with the miniseries, my mom had the book, and I actually read the book. And it's so uh, The Hobbit was the first novel I ever read, but the other one was actually uh, Shogun. So, yes, and I cannot wait for the FX series. Okay, thank you, Taylor. Thank you, thank you. All right, next up. We have Josh Becker, <laughs> Big Day Tomorrow, Fast 10 Trailer, and The Last of Us Episode 5. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Whew. Okay, got by that. Uh, sorry, what's tomorrow? Fa so we no, get the Fast 10 Trailer, and we get The Last of Us <laughs> Episode 5. I mean, yeah, Last of Us Episode 5, super stoked about, how am I supposed to move this ball? Huh. Um, the... I thought they were waiting for Super Bowl. I you guess they're just going to put it out online first. You, already, you got that sledgehammer. Maybe you hit the bridge so it pops up. That's a nice boulder. Let me see if I can. Is it metal? Let me see if I can. Nope, oh. it's not metal. I can't control it with that. Um, can't I use... can't stop time on it. 
Just hit it. Oh, there's there's things. There's go. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, nothing down there. All right, I'll try the hammer. You haven't? I started it here, and then within the first ten minutes, I don't know if you heard me, because you were like, "What's this?" You passed by. You're like, "What are you watching?" I was like, "Oh, it's Fast 9. And then I think two minutes after you went back into your office, I said, "I was watching." and I was like, "What the beep is this beep?" Yeah. And then I turned it off. It's pretty awful. I I still remember me and Rob and our buddy Cliff and Anne went to go watch an advanced screening of it. And it was like, it, and we were all so excited. We went for dinner first and we were super excited. And then we watched it and it was like, this is so awful. I have no idea what to do here. Oh, so it doesn't work on it? You can't hit it? No, I hit it and it didn't even budge. Uh, so there's something. Maybe there's something on the ground you could hit right there. Oh, wait, you, that's your drop. That's, I dropped that, yeah. Are you supposed to get that? What if you're supposed to hit this ball as soon as it comes down this way? I can't hit it. No, as it's rolling down, hit it at the side so it goes this way. So which things, Jonathan? Oh. What are those glowing things right by the ramp? Are those just lights? I think they're just lights, yeah. Does anyone uh, in the chat know? Well, James Argenta is saying, stop time on rock, hit it with a sword. Oh. With the one, this one? This yeah, rock? stop time on this rolling rock and then hit it with a sword. So this way, I think, towards this. Okay, let me see. So go to that side, yep. Or maybe you hit it this way, I don't know. But stop time, boom. Oh, sorry, I wasn't Straight facing the next it. one. Do, 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 do. Okay, and so here we go. Now, yeah! Okay. Thank you, James Argenta. Let's see if this does anything. Oh, mate, you do need the sword. Oh, it says higher. Oh, wait, you got it. Now you hit that that way? Oh, no, it's going. Wow. I, oh. Oh. You, had, shit, you had to stop it again, huh? And then hit it that way? Uh, Can you stop I'm it again? the live chat to stop time again so it doesn't roll off. Yeah, okay. there you go. All right, well, I'll try that. It's like Star Wars. There's no rails. <laughs> Where the hell are the safety rails? <laughs> can you fall off? Who designed this? Oh, yes, you can. All right, Remember guys. yesterday I fell like a thousand times? Oh, yeah. Well, some things we want to forget. <laughs> Next up, we have Thank martial you. arts film fan. Oh, sorry, film freak. Ooh. Film freaks? Yeah. Woo. Hey, John, what do you think it would take for Scott Adkins to <gasps> finally break into the mainstream? He was, uh, let's see, he was been the king of martial arts B-movies for 10 years, but he plays henchmen in big budget films. Mm. Scott Adkins. That, you did a, a yep. little interview with we him. Had, we had Scott on the show. Um, did an interview with him a few weeks ago, and... Uh, I actually emailed, I was actually emailing back and forth with him about something accidentally. Um, okay. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh, it's not oh. stopping. Oh, there you go. Okay, so how am I stopping? You know, you needed a... Yeah. yeah. Ah! So do it again. So stupid. No, it's um, not. This is fun. I... Look, I I think he's terrific. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait for I... it to roll. If it rolls on that bridge, stop it. Like, yeah. Oh. oh. And you can't get that. One. You have to get that one it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You have to do. Oh, you know, let me try stopping time on that one. Oh yeah. But it's not moving, so there's yeah, no. Yeah, there's no momentum. We'll so I can do that, and then I can pull out my hammer. Oh, yeah. Pull and it then up. hit it. And then oh. Oh, almost. Oh, there. it worked! I thought maybe since it wasn't moving at all, oh, but maybe the... Now there's a gap. Is there a gap there? No. Nope. Okay, so just go to... I'm probably just going to fall off now. Well... <laughs> you should do it before way. you do that. Then walk this way. I'm going to take it very gently. Yeah. That's, gently. That's not how playthrough should go. <laughs> um, okay, victory! Exactly. Um, so, I... What it would... might... Because he's in his mid-40s now. Mm-hmm. Actually, Jonathan, can you look? How old is Scott Acton saying? He's in his mid-40s. I mean, I just watched this Hitman's movie of his, and it was really fun. He's 46. He's 46. I don't know that he, at this point, can get that big breakthrough, but I, I mean, I don't know. Look, how old was Dave Bautista when he finally started to get big in the movie world? I mean, he had to be in his 40s. So, I don't know. I, all it takes in this business is one, the one right role. Right, that's get what I'm one saying. One right role in a movie... I mean, he was already in the MCU. He was in the first Doctor Strange, and he was great in it, but... He was? 
Yeah, he was one of the guys that uh, fought Doctor Strange, and oh. then he ended up getting dumped into an Arctic wasteland somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, but I, I don't know if somebody would just give him a shot. Doesn't have to be a lead role, but if somebody just gave him a shot, like a legitimate role. Yeah, he was. He was. Because he's fifty-four now. And Guardians came out twenty fourteen. Yeah. So that's six seventy-nine. So he would have been forty-four. Yeah. So I mean, so but it has to happen soon. It has to happen soon for him. And I'll be cheering for him because I think he's awesome. Next up, we have Kenneth Colton. We are exactly one week away from the release of Ant-Man Quantumania. Wow. Excitement levels are high. Reviews sound very solid. Can't wait. Yeah, again, look, I'd be lying if I said that I was super excited for the movie. Because, again, the, even though Ant-Man is... Uh, all right, I, I won the level. Um, even though Ant-Man is, like, one of my favorite parts of the MCU... The trailers, I just don't think have been very good for this movie. But I was super encouraged to hear all the tremendous reactions of people coming out and seeing it. I'm looking forward to reading the full reviews. Um, and while, you know, somebody asked me the other day on an open mic, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big is my, my enthusiasm for it right now? I would say 7. A good, solid 7. Um, but uh, I, I, you know, I got... I don't know if you know this, Ray. Ann and I got tickets for you, too. Oh. Uh, so we got our tickets for Ant-Man on Thursday, oh. uh, a week from today. I so Monday, the day after our spoilers review. <laughs> so you'll, oh, that's right. You'll know everything by then. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, I cannot wait. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it, but, like, not jumping up and down out of my chair like I am for the new episode of The Last of Us tomorrow night. Which, by the way, everybody, um, Saturday morning will be the open spoiler discussion for the Last of Us episode. Uh, I was going to do it Sunday, but then I remembered Sunday is yeah. Super Bowl. So what was I was thinking? And I am taking my wife, Anne, camping for the very first time. Wow. She's never been camping. So I'm going to take her camping on Saturday, and we leave in the afternoon. So sometime, not early Saturday morning, but sometime Saturday morning will be the... Uh, uh, after show discussion for the last of us episode that comes out tomorrow. and also i watch a lot of dateline john so <laughs> so i don't want no hiking missing hiking mystery <laughs> let's keep this uh let's keep this it's safe completely and uh, safe it's safe and bear safe. free no bear bears. free it's funny ann and i went to a camp supply store yesterday and they were selling like big things of bear repellent it's like i think we're okay where we're gonna be no you should at least get like a small thing of it Oh, I wonder if I can climb down okay, here. Well, bear do you, it up. Do you think I can climb down to that ledge? Would you climb down in real life to <laughs> down that ledge? No, of course I wouldn't. You still don't have. No, 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 no. That thing should pop up if you can. Wait, go under, right underneath it, and go this way. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can. Oh, I know. I. Oh. <laughs> what is it with you just running to the edge? <laughs> but you know, <laughs> don't go camping. Don't go camping. <laughs> Don't go camping either, or you go first. <laughs> oh, That's boy. the rule for this camping trip. You go first. Then I'll be fine. Please. Also, me and with the car keys. Please be after I came out of the thing already. It, okay, it is good. Okay, I'm going to text her. Maybe it's not a good idea. You go <laughs> at least to a high, highly elevated place. Or, yeah, yeah. there you go. See? That's perfect. perfect right? All right. Oh, no, no that... wrong. Yeah, right there. We have Nerd on Film. Nerd on Film. Do you think Iger will reverse Chapek's decision to put mature Marvel Netflix shows on Disney Plus? Was one of the few good moves Chapek made. Define what which Disney show which Marvel shows have been mature. Oh, the 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 the, the Daredevil that putting it on Disney Daredevil Plus. Punisher. I think that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Oh. You think um, he'll reverse that decision of putting those on that, that? Did Punisher go on? Yeah, I just checked that the other day. Punisher's on there. Um. Yes. But why would he, though? If people are already watching it and stuff, and there's been really nothing bad that's come out of it, why would he? We don't know that nothing bad oh, has come okay. out of it. I mean, that's that's the thing. I Look, it's, it's harder to undo something. Um, so maybe he won't, but... I'm telling you right now. I think there's a 55% chance he does take Daredevil and mm. uh, Punisher off there maybe moves it over to who either way it'll be available either way oh, okay see that's closer. what i was saying that's yeah. why i was saying hey they need more stuff on there 
Yeah, I think he'll he'll take it off and probably put it over. Again, I'm not going to say it's like an 80 percent chance. I think like a 51 percent chance, 51 percent chance that he does that. Come on, I'm not stealing Campia Plus for like le <laughs> less selection. <laughs> How come I can't climb? Next up, we have Bright Burns 1985. What are the odds that Ben Affleck directs Batman, The Brave and the Bold, because he knows his craft and he's a Batman fan, or is it too obvious? Um, he's not going to do Brave and the Bold. Uh, I think I saw something the other day that basically pretty much laid that out, that he, he's not doing Brave and the Bold. He could do a Batman movie sometime in the future. Um, I think... I'm starting to suspect they've already decided a movie he's going to direct, and they're just not telling us yet. I mean, I don't, I don't know that, but... Uh, but I don't think it's going to be Brave and the Bold. I, it's it's so far removed from the story that he was going to tell that I think if they ever do let him do a Batman movie, um, it'll be some, It'll be like Rob said. It'll be a version or or a slight adaptation of his Deathstroke one. So I don't think it'll be the one with uh, with having Robin in it. So, but I mean, I don't know for sure. But I do think he's going to do a movie. I think they already know what movie it's going to be, but I don't think it's Brave and the Bold. Uh, but you never know. I, obviously, it's possible. So, whatever. As long as he's directing something, you I'll actually be happy. think he would still do a, a movie, even though he has a script that it seems like he's very, he wants to very much made. I mean, do you think he'll settle for something else? Yes. That? I mean, because the, it's not like he'll have an option, right? So it's mm. not like, I mean. So it's more like a money thing then. Like, if he's offered something, he's going to take it. Well, but it's, it's, it's not just that. It's like, if he had the choice, hey, either make the script you made or make this other thing, then he'd make the script he made. Right, right. But he can't make the script Right, he made. right, because so that like, might that's interfere not with uh, James Gunn's uh, overall yeah, plan. Yeah, exactly. So, it, can I reach that? Nope, I can't get to it. Mm, whatever. Don't uh, say that once on your camping trip, ever. <laughs> can I reach that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next up we have Bright. Would love to see Bernthal appear in Deadpool 3. If they can't integrate Punisher into the MCU, it would be a good farewell. Say, Read that one again? Sure. So uh, Bright says, would love to see Bernthal appear in Deadpool 3. Oh. If they can't integrate Punisher into the MCU, it would be a good farewell. Um. Yeah, listen. The, the, the nice thing is Bernthal had two full seasons of Punisher. Plus his Daredevil season of Punisher. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he got shortchanged or anything. I love Bernthal's Punisher. I don't know that they're going to have it in the uh, MCU, though. I, I I think they Iger might consider the character a little... Through no fault of the characters or anything like that, but they might consider it a little bit problematic right now. Right. Um, so my guess, and it's only a guess, my guess is that there's a 53 percent chance we do not see punisher at all let alone uh bernthal's punisher that that's my guess at any rate we'll see what they ultimately decide to do but i would be very happy if he is in it because i i think his punisher is fantastic all right next up we have king daddy goat again please take my word lebron is not playing ankle um, okay, but like uh, like I said, my wife Ann just called me, right. and she said he is listed as being in the starting lineup tonight. So, I, I mean, whether that's old, what's flying over my head? Oh, this is shit. Oh, I think he heard, it's because LeBron is watching right now. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I need John Campia. What does Campia say? What does Campia say? Yeah, yeah that's and exactly. then he's like, you know what, put me in starting lineup. But put I me in coach. <laughs> but I will not play. I just want him to come and, and then me announce before. I've been waiting for up. so long to meet John Candy. Yeah. That's exactly what LeBron's thinking. Yeah, because he, you know he has that movie studio or yeah, that yeah, little that little thing he's doing. True story. Do you you remember Ray? Who's that was my favorite right part of life? walking through that parking lot? Is that there's so, a little piece of LeBron there? You you guys may not know. For a while there, I had my office in Hollywood. There's a what was the name of the thing? Hollywood production studio yeah something like called? that yeah anyway so we had our production office in this hollywood production studio and right beside my parking spot was lebron james's parking parking spot because his production company had their um uh their stu their studio was in the same offices oh these guys are going to come try to kill me so i got to kill them first. well what was funny about that parking space is for the first 
week that they put it up, it was like in a very visible spot. Yes. And like I would sit there because I would wait for John to uh, um, arrive or like I would just we would just get there early. I'll be standing out there. And people would walk up randomly and just take pictures of the of LeBron's parking spot. <laughs> so eventually, uh, uh, maybe a week or two before we actually left that uh, uh, office, um, they moved it to the other side where yes, his did. name wasn't shown. But yeah, um, I figured he probably made use of that spot during the offseason. season. Were you with me or was Rob with me when I parked and getting out of a car? Two cars down from me was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, no, I didn't and see that. And I got there. to meet Kareem when we got to oh, man. walk into the building with Kareem. Oh, yeah, the non-Laker fan gets to meet the Laker? That, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so I, I will double-check to see uh, whether or not... Because, like, yeah, if LeBron's not playing, I'm not going to go to the game. If, if he is playing, I will probably go because it's gotten so cheap. Yeah. I um, Actually, I don't think I've seen LeBron play yet in person. I got to... At least do that. Then how come when I offered to get you a ticket tonight, this you said is not, no? This is not the game I wanted. Because he just had he's scored. Like Gian Giannis is playing the Greek Freak tonight. I know, but I'd rather watch him against the Grizzlies. That, that's that's it. No, like the only Los Angeles Lakers game you'll go to is if they're playing the Grizzlies. Yeah, big job, job. Job, job. I'm very choosy in my freeness. <laughs> Yes. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just really tired today. I would, I would go, and I don't want to spend what you know how expensive food is at Staples Center. You know I'm gonna eat. You know them garlic fries are the bomb. <laughs> they do have, they do have good, uh, good stuff there. Yeah. I broke my axe. Crap. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why do things break so easy in this game? You know what? We'll just cancel the uh, camping trip. I think. <laughs> cancel the camping trip. <laughs> okay. There should be a sign of what it's like with you in the wilderness. <laughs> I grew up camping. I've been camping my whole life. Forget I'm Canadian. Oh, uh, that's why your last name is that, huh? That's, that's why. right. Okay. Campy of the camper. Sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Taylor. Sorry. All right, next up we have Tahir Rahim. John, even if LeBron... Oh, my gosh, it's all LeBron. <laughs> LeBron talk. If Le <laughs> LeBron wasn't there, you still have to go see Giannis? At least uh, top two in the league right now. Giannis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the Greek freak, for sure. But I, I I would rather go and have LeBron playing while he's playing uh, against him. That would be oh jeez, almost fell. See, Giannis. How am I supposed to say it? Giannis? Giannis. Yon, I I say Giannis, but okay. I don't know. It's probably it's Gianni, just it's Giannis, probably Giannis or something. But for me, um, the best in the league usually doesn't sometimes mean I'm watching them. Like I've gone through like uh, with the NBA, I've only watched like one person every time that uh i was into the nba like it was kobe then it went or went to shaq and then kobe it was jordan shaq kobe and then recently maybe lebron but then i moved that over to john moran is the reason why i would watch any games right now i don't know there's always been a a superstar that i paid attention to when it comes to the sport of the nba or right. basketball um yeah Oh boy, am I gonna make it? Yeah, you feel make like it. you're supposed to have the glider by now. I, I'm on my way to get the glider. Oh, now. okay, good. I was gonna say because you had to defeat. You had to do the two temple things. I was just at the shrines. I had to complete the shrines in order to go get the. Uh, Are you gonna sneak up on these guys? I don't know if I can. Oh, maybe you could like set that thing. Maybe you could. Yeah. See, there's a question mark over it. Maybe you hit that into them. So so arrow the behind. Oh, no, the they question saw mark you. was them. Okay, yeah, they, they saw you already. Because you could have probably tulip. killed all of them. There we go. Bye. These guys are probably high level. They're kind of cute, though. Oh, there is something like sparkling on that thing. Or maybe that's, oh, yeah, that's the thing meat. you have to collect for the... That's meat. I can oh. collect that and, and eat it. Did you just kill those two guys already? No, they're still alive. Yeah, I figured. All right, Mongo Mongo asks what your favorite oh, wrestler oh, is, John. Dead. Or who your favorite you wrestler just is. just one more guy. Um... Who my favorite wrestler is. I mean, it depends if we're talking all time. Is there any way I can get this guy? Uh, get behind one of those crates if so he doesn't hit you. And I don't that's... think he can get me. I don't think he can get me from there now. Okay, so, but do I have a weapon? I don't know if I have a bow anymore. Oh, I do have a bow. Okay. Yeah, so get closer at least so you can aim. Yeah, yeah, better. yeah. I only have five arrows, but that's all right. If you don't get him with a five, we turn off the stream and go on. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm being completely serious. If you have five arrows and you're right here, get behind this crate so he doesn't hit you. 
Why do I always crouch? I don't mean to crouch. You just automatically crouch. Crouches. There you go. You, you're standing in the right spot because it was actually hitting the crate. Or you could just go up to him and kill him, I mean. Whatever. Oh, crap. I got the... Did I just throw my sword at him? Crap, I need to get my... Ah! Okay, wait a second. How do... I thought I... So once again, you're watching the pro walkthrough of uh, Breath of the Wild with a pro gamer, John Campion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. You're going to need to hit him. Oh! Okay, hopefully my sword is still down there. Oh, oh. what's going on? I don't know. Was it some kind of boss thing? Oh, it, it went Laker colors right there. <laughs> it's saying, LeBron will not play. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is my sword... Oh, tell me I didn't lose my sword. Yeah, well... Don't do that with the compass on this camping trip. Oh, we don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> do we still use compasses? Or do you use I the sun? <laughs> or the, <laughs> the shadow? Okay. We must walk this way to the Tesla. I lost my sword. My favorite weapon. I lost it. Because you threw it and yeah. disappears? I, it Go up there. Go it up there. I mean, I, it hit this thing. It should be around here somewhere. I thought it went further than that. No, because I thought it hit it. Let's put up a poll. Where's John's sword? Oh, my gosh. Shit. So who was your favorite wrestler? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all time, I think... Because the, the guy I watched when I was a little kid, my favorite when I was a little kid, was a wrestler by the name of Tito Santana. Oh my god, really? What's wrong with Tito He's Santana? Great. He's great, and that, I, I respect you for picking him. He hit, like, this he was, was back in the day when him and his big feud was with Greg the Hammer Valentine, and they were both uh, figure four leg lock guys. He was a great worker. And so between him, and then he went later went on to do a tag team with Rick the Model Martell called Strike. Yeah, Force. and I love their entrance music. Um, and but I think all time, I, I think Triple H was probably my, oh, my wow. favorite, my wow. favorite wrestler of all time. Okay, so you're 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 saying wrestler as in full package as an entertainment value? Yeah, like the whole uh, thing. Yeah, I mean, like the best technical wrestler was you know Dean Malenko, uh, uh, Bret Hart, Bret, my Bret, favorite, yeah. Bret the Hitman Hart, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. Ultimate Warrior for me, non-wrestler, because like really he wasn't really a wrestler. <laughs> he just you know he was got my attention. Bret Hart, and then obviously Stone Cold. I mean, there's yeah, Stone Cold and The Rock. And... Shawn Michaels was great too. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, a whole bunch of great guys like that. Ooh, what's this? I don't know maybe. Oh, there's honey in there. Oh, oh, and cocaine there's bees. bear. Cocaine bears in there. Blood and honey. Oh, oh wait, wait. There's something sparkly to the left. So I can probably collect. Oh, just oh mushrooms. I can eat that. Yeah, so you it can gives eat me those. Help. Like okay, it's on so the strays trailer. Let me change the weapon I have. See if I can just knock it over. Let's see what we're gonna lose next. Yeah, what are we gonna lose next? Well, with that one down, I think we'll take a quick break to thank our sponsors of the show. Uh, we have. John, do you remember who we put? Rocket, Rocket Money and DraftKings. There we go. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket Money rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video 
DraftKings. Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57, has all the Super Bowl action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Boosts. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see what prop bet will be boosted. Going into Super Bowl 57, I think you got to look at the Philadelphia Eagles as taking home the big prize. Keep your eye on Jalen Hurts. He's going to be the difference maker in the game. So guys, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use the code Campia. New customers can bet $5 on Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Campia. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Sure, he's gone. All, All right, right, we back. And welcome back, everybody. Hey, good news. I knocked down a beehive, everybody. Yeah. Everybody can rest now. Everybody can feel okay. I knocked down a beehive. Still lost your sword. Still lost my sword. I have no idea where my sword and is. And those right now. crates don't open. You don't. You can't like hit them. What is that X? I don't know. My X usually means either something good or oh, something it's, bad. Oh, it's probably the the shrine. I was already yeah. That's I can't go. I'm not going to go off the cliff. Uh, I was already at the shrine. Do you have to talk yourself out of doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I have to talk myself out of it. All right, let's go. All right, next super chat comes to us from Motossum. Will there be a Quantumania spoiler discussion since you already have the live event on Sunday? Yes, uh, but it'll probably be like Monday or something like that. Oh. Ooh. Are you like a jerk? Was that just a they're non-attacking... Food. They're food. They, they, they restores health. Mm, raw bird drumstick. <laughs> uh, so yes, you can... and Because I already have some other ingredients that say if you cook this with a critter, mm. you get a super bonus or something like that. Okay, there's the crazy old hut man. Let's see if he gives me the damn glider. Okay, what's next? All right, up next we have Kevin Rubio. John, have oh, you had Kev. a chance to watch the Harley Quinn Valentine special? No, I was not going to stay up till midnight to watch it. Um, but I am, Ann and I definitely have it high on our priority list. If we do not go to the Laker game tonight, because we got to watch Vox Machina and we got to watch Harley Quinn. So um, we're going to do both of those tonight. It just depends on how late we got to stay up to do it. Would you figure a lot of people are waiting to watch that on Valentine's Day? Or is that even something anymore or no? I wouldn't, but okay. uh, yeah. Um, no, no, don't don't talk to me about culinary stuff. You said Cook if I went to first. the shrines, you'd give me a goddamn glider. No, see, Where's if, my glider? If you're moved. Tell him you any, cooked. Tell him you cooked for him. You to cook yourself I heard, I've already heard all this stuff about cooking. Maybe you make the glider in there. You don't make the glider in the pot. <laughs> oh, He's him in the got fire. a glider. Oh. Maybe it's inside. Yeah, just go inside. Go in his house without his permission. I'm going to steal his shit. Ask the old man his thoughts on modern Star Trek. <laughs> Seems to work oh, around here. That might be the recipe right there. That might be the recipe to no, make that's, a glider. It's his, that's his uh, journal. Wow, oh, this seems very The old man's diary. Promises. Hey man, I told this guy I would give him a uh, yeah. glider. I'm just trying to get a. He has to give me a glider. All right, what what is next? All right, next up we have resident nerd man. As much as I love the bloaters, I really hope it isn't just used as a gimmick to please the fans. Really hope it propels the story forward in a way that lifts the game story. Well, I mean, here's the thing: just having that, just in the last episode alone, having that ominous threat that's already sitting there in the middle of their town is already furthering the story so so far everything they've done and utilized in last of us has been used to further the story and if it doesn't they seem to change it so i think uh i think we're good so is that showing that the the, uh, the infection is going underground it's like making its way no no it's just another it's just another problem like you had regular infected you got clickers and oh, you got okay. bloaters uh people in the live chat are saying there's one more shrine you have to do Oh damn it! All right, let me. <laughs> All right, uh, up next. We where's have... the another shrine? Mm. I don't see any other shrines. I I think I've been here. Shrine of Resurrection. I've already you been just there. Got got there. No, the shrine I was just did was this one. So I did that shrine, and I did this one last night. Okay, so the the bright ones are the ones you have to do. I've already done this one. That's why I can travel to it. Oh. I've already done this one, and that's the tower. So where's the other shrine? Oh. 
do I have to kill the... There's a monster in the middle of this abbey here. There's like a, a one-eyed monster uh, Someone thing. said Eastern Abbey, yeah, has a shrine. Oh, it does? Oh, so oh, to kill, it probably oh, reveals kill the this shrine. Monster. Oh, the monster's too hard to that's kill. That's why you have bomb arrows. Oh, you know what? You're yeah. right. So if that doesn't work, then we quit. Forget it. Yeah, I'm done <laughs> with this game. No, that's... Because I, I tried for like... The other night, I tried fighting this thing for like 45 minutes. I, and bet I was making there's no things progress. Around, I bet you there's things around him too that if you make explode, will hurt him more. Or no, something. it's just in the open air. Well, He's well, just in an open field. Well, then use them bomb arrows. All right, bomb arrows it is. Okay. All right, next up, we have Josh Benang. Personally, I hope Toy Story 5 will focus on completely brand new characters with maybe some nods to older characters. Do you think people would riot? Nope. I mean, riot? Yes. Do I think people would be okay with it? Absolutely not. People would not be okay with it. People go to Toy Story to see their beloved Toy Story characters. Right. So there's no... I mean, like Toy Story 4, where they introduced us to Forky, um, I could totally see them introducing us to a couple of new characters for sure, but make no mistake, the central characters will always be Woody and Buzz, and oh. now we got Bo Peep and... But what about an upgraded Buzz? An upgraded, uh, more... more more modern Woody. I don't know how you do it, but <laughs> Woody's an old toy is an old Because Woody still you pull the string and he talks. Yeah. Now he got batteries. <laughs> and now he's got 30 phrases. And I... his eyes blink. <laughs> Come on, man. Megan. <laughs> oh yeah now oh yeah that's right. You're just describing <laughs> Megan. Okay, where do I gotta I go north here. Okay. Alright, next up we have Miguel Zion. Lakers finally got rid of Pat Bev and Westbrook. I think they're gonna be in play in now and that Arizona team getting KD sheesh yeah. final predictions well Suns <laughs> look the Suns have now they have first of all they got KD playing with Chris Paul mm -hmm. they've got one of the most gift maybe the most pure gifted scorer in the league right now playing with maybe the most gifted playmaker in the league right now it, they're going to be scary. Not to mention they've got what's the kid's name? The other the 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 big star in Phoenix. Oh, uh, uh, Aiden, Clay, uh, the center. No, no, no. The the, uh, the Devin Booker. Booker, yeah. Plus on that they got Booker. Um, they're listen. They might be the favorites in the West now. And they got the yeah. No, but you know what? The Mavs are scary now too. Oh, the Mavs are super scary. Because Luca was doing good by himself yep. on a team. Yeah, Luca might be the best player in the league. I, I think he is. Um, and then you always got the Grizzlies, who's who's young and just likes to talk trash, maybe get you out of your game. I don't know if that works for a seven game series, but they can take you out any night too. Yeah, I better uh, save before I. Um, yeah, so it's, it has to be the Suns if, let's say, Durant plays fully because he's been injured a lot. Yeah, but I I would put my I would put my money like on the, like having a better year than last year or exceeding expectations on the Mavericks. I think either the Mavs or or now the Suns are going to win the West. Yeah. So uh, all right, what's next? All right, next up we have Alex Sarn. Hey Ray, did you watch the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie? Yes, it's I did. A remake of you the did? original, yeah. and it's canon now. The can you say that last part? Sure. It's a remake of the original and it's canon now. It's canon now. Oh, I, I don't know what that means to me. <laughs> the canon stuff, I've always just watched each movie for itself. I really like the movie. But if you're saying that it's a newer one, there was an older version of it and this was a remake, I knew that. Yeah, I, um, I knew that there was a, another bra Brawly movie that happened before. I didn't see it. Is it Brawly or Broly? I like calling it Broly just because it says bro in it, but... Bro. It's probably Brawly. It All is right. Brawly. I really like that character, to be honest. I think he's one of my favorite characters. Okay, this is the dance. See the, the, the tentacle? Oh, yeah. This is the damn thing that I that I could not even Bomb get him. remotely close to be. Before he wakes up? Or, or do you have to wake one? him up? You get close to him and that wakes him up. Is this him or is the other one him? Oh, uh, yeah, this uh, is him. Uh, oh, look, he's he's like metal, too, or yeah. something like that. So maybe those bombs, shoot the bomb in his eye. Yeah, I would say go for the eyeball. Yeah, I'll go for the eyeball. Eye violin? You should go now while he's not moving. He doesn't get up and move around. Oh, he just stays like that. So he just targets you. If, does he shoot lasers? Let me try getting my aim right with... Uh, oh. Yes, he does. If he And it's a one-shot kill. Okay, so... Get, oh, there's something on top of that hill. That's, uh, that's, right. that's another thing I've been okay. to, yeah. Okay. My God, he's, he's very tense. I know. Wait till he turns it. Turns that eye on you. Peekaboo. Boom. 
Oh! Wait, it should explode. It took a little bit of... No, I'm using the regular arrows right what? now just to get my aim. So, Because I only got five exploding arrows. Oh, 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 what? Was that the exploding arrow? No, that was him shooting. Well, you know what? I think forget the aim, just shoot the bomb arrow at it. <laughs> just forget the aim. All right, yeah. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure it only takes Bomb like arrow it is. Yep. And just get it near the eye at least. Uh oh, does that thing have a timer on it? I don't think so. Okay, bye. Oh. Come on, turn your head. Ooh. Oh, nice. But does, nothing happened. Does it show a bar? bar. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you have to get it in the eye, like perfect aim. You, you didn't get that one in the eye, for no, sure. No, I didn't. So just wait for that pause. So you're going to have to... Oh, just wait. Oh, there's a pattern he does, too. Oh! Nothing. Look at but no you health. Did, oh, okay. No health came off him. But that one, I don't think, got into the eye, either. Yeah, maybe not. You know right, what? Well, in the meantime, we have... That one got that right one got in the eye. eye. And look, it took nothing off of him. Oh, okay, so maybe there's something else, then. Okay. okay, what's next? All right, Mumra, with Will announcing a new Bad Boys movie, what do you think they'll title it? Bad Boys Forever or Bad Boys Forgiven? Question mark? Forgiven's... Yeah, nah, Forgiven's pretty good. That makes sense, considering the kid... But I don't think they'll go that route. So, John, um, is there a place you could run? Is there anything around here where you could make him shoot that destroys him? Maybe there's. it's that sort of boss. You know how you stand in the way and you target something, but you move and he hits that thing? Well, we have some tips in the live yeah. chat I could read you. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay, so John Sales says deflect shield. One deflect equals dead guardian. Airbud says, Tay, hey, tell John he can lock onto an enemy with the left trigger button. And the Cosmonaut says, just run past him and get to the shrine. Okay. So you might not have to eat I don't eat think it. you can get past. I don't see any shrine. That's the problem. You know what? What we're doing Where's is not working, shrine? so maybe run past him. Like, maybe he's guarding this gate right here. No, because I went around. Like, I went around him, and there was... I didn't find anything. Like, I thought maybe I can run up and climb on and hit him in the head with the hammer or something before he shoots. Well, you, he obviously turns his eyes right here. So you can't. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to get you? I can't get away from him. Yep, I'm dead. Wow, that did more damage than the bomb eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I can't do one shot. Uh, people okay. are saying deflect his laser with your shield. All right, I'll try that. I, th I thought it would just blow my shield away, but I'll give it a shot. All right, so next up is just a sub 32. What happened to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3? I actually, during lunch... Yeah, that day, was like, nope, done with this game. <laughs> oh, we were playing it. <laughs> yeah, right yeah we were. We tried it. We got... No, no, we more. played more. Um, ah, it put me right here, right in front of him. Oh. Ray and I unlocked Scarlet Witch. We unlocked Captain yep. America, Iron and, Man. And I'm always down to play that game. I just We're just Spider waiting Man. for us four to be yeah, available. Well, you know, we, we beat Sandman, the boss. Yep. Uh, and we beat... It was Electro and Venom. Uh, and Venom. Mm -hmm. And was it just Sandman? There was someone else that I was attached well, to. Well, Green Goblin was flying around. Oh, yeah, Iron that Man. little piece of crap. That was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting to get Blade. Then we need to play it further. But yeah, it's still on the playlist for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Especially now that we got past those yeah. doors. And we, I think we figured out how to do the... Oh, if we well, ever... I broke my shield. So much for do that. Do you have like a steel shield? No, that was it. Oh, can you just... And I died. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're real. I think. I think you just. Well, Skyward King seventy seven is saying the tower behind the wall is the shrine, oh. and people are saying just run away from this guy. Yeah, just run away. Yeah, I bravely run away. And away. don't attack. Climb yourself. the wall behind him. Don't bother fighting. Yeah, so, yeah. Possible. So, uh, Nathan Zapata sends in a super please. chat just to be supportive. Thank you so much, Nathan. Up next, we have Fling, Bing Blaze seventy one. Where did he go? I found the perfect oh, actor for the new Superman, Robert Downey Jr. He just started no. the MCU, so he should start the DCU too. Just kidding, LOL. Okay. Yeah. Um, which what did they say was the shrine? Is it that thing? No, he said where where you were at. Go to the wall that's behind. You can him. climb those walls uh, according to the live chat. Yeah. But it's gonna kill me, isn't it? As long as you run at the right time where he's not facing you, you have enough time to get away from him. So yeah, so go here, see if you can climb these walls. Oh. Is that the shrine there? Yeah, probably. So you're trying to fight something that you did. Oh, oh wow. Right. Wow, John. Look at that. There you go. Wow. You can't avoid conflict. That's the lesson of today. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, next up we have um, Hamid. You're going to fall off. Sorry, I hope I pronounced that one right. Thoughts on Durant being traded to Phoenix? Oh, scary. Uh, it's it's uh, scary. Uh, look, I got a thing, though. Like, man, Durant sure does like getting traded around a lot. <laughs> but um, He's always injured, too. Yeah, listen, I, I get it. Like, that's funny. Like, a calendar year ago, the Nets looked invincible. They had Harden. They had uh, uh, Kyrie. They had Durant. And then they blinked, and Harden's gone. He's on the 76ers now, and they're doing great. And now Kyrie's gone, which he was gone anyway. Uh, and so I guess Durant was just like, you know what, just get me out of here. Man. I just I just called it the Lakers uh, Super Team Part 2, where they had Carl Malone and Gary Payton. They're just, they're getting good pieces, but I don't know if they work together well. And also, they're like, they're not old considering the league, but... No, no they're not old. Like, they're, Durant's but, but, still got good years in them but i think the one team that's and it pains me to say this the one team that's doing it right because i think they're doing it very right toronto Raptors. is the celtics they oh, yeah. got the young kids that are not the full-blown superstars but they play well enough where if you combine them together they're an awesome unit and that's what i think a lot of teams but need to start doing how many draft picks did they give i did i know but still they give them like four first round draft picks I'm, for them but but still like yeah four first round draft oh, picks. oh, oh, oh. you're talking about the so i thought you meant how they built the Celtics. no no i mean that uh that i think um what's his name i think the sun yeah yeah about four, four un first round draft picks. yeah unprotected i think that's that's leveraging a lot of your future man so i don't know but And we're back, everybody. Thank you so much for being patient. That was our sponsor, Technical Difficulty. <laughs> Brought to you by Technical Difficulty. <laughs> okay, let's get through this question before yeah. we go we down have again. Four <laughs> super chats left, so let's get through them before. Yeah. <laughs> yes, before. All right. Thing Nathan crashes Zapata again. sends in another super chat just to be supportive. Thank you so much. Thank Nathan. you. JT Hiskey. The NBA had to pay over six hundred million dollars to have the all-star game happen here on a Sunday uh, in the great state of Utah. Crazy. Why would they even have the game in Utah then? How many, how many millions dollars? $600 million. I can't believe that. That can't, that can't be true. Why would the league pay over half a billion dollars? Do they do that with every place they play the all-star? Oh, because you know, the city sometimes has to shut down for a big event because it's all weekend event. But and that shuts down a lot of stores and stuff. It's just at an arena. But the problem is, in Utah, I don't think you're allowed to do oh. shit on Sundays. I'm not. I'm oh, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, do the Utah Jazz, are they not allowed to play home games on Sundays? No, I don't think it has anything to do. I think it has to do with things getting shut down. Like, because they have to close the city off because they have the NBA experience where they have those little things. You don't things. have to close the city down. You just close down around the arena. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe things are just expensive now. I can't believe that would be really six. I don't believe it. I don't oh, believe I, it. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I, I believe it. It's just I don't know why. I believe they could have spent that much. I just don't know what where that goes to or why they had to spend that much. But go ahead. Go ahead, All Taylor. Right, next up, we have Boo Lee Tan. Oh, Boone Lee Tan. Ray, have you seen South Park Season 26, Episode 1? Yeah. Also, you should watch One Piece. I think it's right up your alley. It's fun, emotional, insightful, and better than Morbius. And very. There's a lot of seasons to One Piece. Uh, my neighbors who don't watch any anime, they got into it. And I, like, I'll listen to them talk about it. They're like, I'm on Season something, Episode this. And I'm like, I can't commit myself to something like that now right now but i i will check it out um i usually get hooked and the problem with me getting hooked like i did with breaking bad is i'll watch it all the way through like breaking bad why is I, that a problem because the next day i called and said i was sick because I, oh okay is that what happened yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then i finished breaking bad well at least up to five ray you're not supposed I, to say that out loud i know but it wasn't for you oh, okay it wasn't I wouldn't do that too. Well, and as far as South Park last night, Ray, uh, I was gonna stay up for it. I knocked out so early. You ended up watching it though, right? No, but I did the same because I yeah. I, I um, record. I tried to watch it last night, and I fell asleep. And so in the morning, I watched it, and it's uh, it's about Mr. Ye Ye. The whole thing's about <laughs> Mr. Kanye. It's a, it was very clever. Were I really liked it. Were there fish sticks in this one? No, it was uh, more of the <laughs> more of what's been going on lately, which is uh, pretty funny to me. 
All right, and our last super chat of the day comes to us from Alex Sarn. Hey, John, could you see yourself booking a three-month wrestling program with today's wrestlers? I have no idea what you mean by that. Writing the scripts for the, the next scripts. three months on wrestling. Can you can you handle all? Can can you see yourself writing the next three months for like let's say whatever era of wrestling that you you enjoy the most, or maybe the wrestling that's going on now? I, I don't see how they do one day or one week, to be honest. Because, like, uh, they, I think a lot of the wrestling is based on fans' reaction now. So what you write down may be a good story, but you might have to change it depending on how the crowd reacts. I mean, you might be confusing me with Harloff, because Harloff was actually a staff writer for WWE oh, yeah, yeah. for a while. Like, I never wrote for WWE, but, I mean, yeah, I could write for WWE. Yeah, 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 bad guy, uh, yeah, yeah, fights yeah. a good guy, uh, they punch each other in the face. Uh, will increase viewership probably <laughs> do they use chairs in wwe yes yeah oh, but they yeah. can't hit each other in the head anymore now they have to hit each other oh. uh in, in the, the back in the back yeah or hit the floor before it hits the back you know that yeah. one you know the, one. the only thing i know about wwe is that there's chair chair fights so we got into the shrine i guess and we're gonna since this is probably going to be... This that was the last question, right? Yeah, I have one. Yeah. I is have that one Rose at the end of Titanic right there? <laughs> so should we uh, get this glider <laughs> and end it on a good note? It's been 84 years. <laughs> so I think you should continue your call with Anne and talk about dinner and things like that. I'll <laughs> just let the live audience know what kind of things go on to... Actually, okay, I, that should be the final shrine. Now, if I if go you back, don't get a glider right now... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I want to kill that old man. <laughs> Okay, now this guy's gonna evaporate. Someone segment that line that John said out. I right? kill that old <laughs> man. And just uh, start. Uh... So he's close, right? Oh, you have to run by that laser dude again. No, well, I can walk around. Him. I can walk around him. Yeah, Unfortunately, so... I can't fast travel to the old man's house though. Oh, great. So can you finish what one last thing? Can you finish what you're you were saying about the fast ten? What about it? That oh uh, oh, he oh, just showed shit. up to me. Oh, cool! <laughs> Look who it is. Well, never mind. We've got all the spirit orbs and the shrines in this plateau. Ho ho! Extraordinary. <laughs> that means it is finally time. If he's is he gonna try to touch me? No. Like, what? Let like, me bro. tell you everything. Nintendo, bro, come on. That's a. That's but in the first. Place. Imagine an X on your map with four shrines. Oh, I can't. I can't stop the game. No, imagine a fast X on your map. This is that's what's coming out oh tomorrow. Woo! Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines Family. as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. No, you're supposed to give me the damn glider. Can someone tell John there's no mic? He can't hear you. Do you understand? <laughs> where the two lines connecting the shrines would cross. There I will be waiting. All right, wow. done. you want to light this up, John? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can save this game now. Uh, and yes, I don't have the body of the shuttle done yet, if anyone's asking. This thing is the, the worst thing anyone should ever buy. Sponsor us. <laughs> Wait a second, why? What's going on? How come I can't? How do I bring up my inventory? Okay, that brings up the map. Where the lines intersect. Okay, so I know where I'm supposed to go, but this is supposed to bring up my inventory. It's like Moana. Oh, I gotta hit R now to bring up inventory. And then I go to system, and then I go to save. All right, there we go. All right, is that all the questions? <laughs> That's all of them. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for our play and chat now before our computer crashes again. We gotta figure out what's going on with that computer. Yep. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for joining us. And um, make sure you come back and join us for the John Campy Show tomorrow. So for Reyes. <laughs> He's tweaking out on a bagel. Uh, so for Ray and Taylor, oh, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.